his three-point shooting numbers have been getting a little bit better bit by bit. This is the fifth consecutive game now in which he's made at least one three. Garrison Brooks from the baseline, and he knocks it down as we've been comfortable playing with each other. Sharp is a terrific passer. Brooks is a very willing passer as well. And Brooks gets a touch in deep on the feed from Sharp, and he'll be headed to the free throw line. Just a simple little action. Both State has to get pressure on him, make, his, make him turn his back, or Carolina will be able to pick apart. That season pick for ACC Player of the Year has had big numbers in his career up in a normal year and Leonard Hamilton freely admits he's not as comfortable with his rotation as he usually is at this point of the season. They caught inside and a little bit of a Steve Sachs throw into first problem. And that was that's going back a ways, isn't it? Remember yes. when Steve Sachs had a problem going to first? Sure. Uh, but he's really overcome that. Not Steve Sachs, Raekwon Gray. <laughs> Andrew Playcheck <laughs> misses the three, tips it back out to Garris. Year, December of 2019, I believe, the last time that he played in a game. And that was him feeding Brooks, who gets the bucket. A great job by North Carolina to get the ball up court quickly for the Harris and thanking him for that pass. Harris played in five games last year, missed the first eight, recovering from a transition. They get so much scoring out of freshmen. They rank 16th in the AP preseason poll. Had a lot of close games. Started in the ACC, Chile, 0 for 2, now 5 and 1. So they're going to bat it back for Carolina. And Pittsburgh not liking that because they seem to feel as though Leaky Black controlled that basketball into the backcourt. But it turns out to be an offensive rebound and second chance points for North Carolina. Garrison Brooks getting it tied at 11. Coming up on 15 minutes to go here in the first half at Pittsburgh. And out of the timeout, we see the zone defense for Pittsburgh as Garrison Brooks and Roy Williams and his crew. Outstanding defense by Johnson as he got up high. They got on the spin. Oh, that's slick. And the finish by Garrison Brooks. Yeah, beautiful up and under by Armando Baycott, unable to finish it, but they're also tall, which makes them difficult to keep off of the offensive glass. And Carolina with more offensive rebounds than Pitt has defensive rebounds. Beautifully moved inside for Brooks, who's having quietly, I think, a very nice opening half here on being tough. That's what they take on from their coach. Jeff Capel, one of the toughest guys that ever played against. So he gives that to his team. He of the week in the ACC. Yeah, letting them play, though. There's a lot of physical play here in this first half. Stepping inside. No travel there. Somebody shot it for that. But two North Carolina, an opportunity to make this a double-digit lead. Brooks swings it over the shoulder and the whistle as Black tried to make all the shots, though. I mean, <laughs> just, like, just like North Carolina, you've got to get the ball inside. You get Luke a couple jumpers. But Booz has to get the ball inside. Brooks for two. 